Hello everyone. In this video, we will see how we can design a ripple carry adder using a full adder. So already we have created a half adder and full adder. So to know about half adder and full adder, you please check the description. I have given the links. You please write to the demo to get a new source and then please select Verilog module. And we are going to select, we are going to design a ripple carry adder. So give RCA and give next, next, finish. So we know that what is memory ripple carry adder. So the ripple carry adder is nothing but an many number of bits adder. So we are going to design a four bit ripple carry adder. So we are going to instantiate four full adders. Each full adder is one bit adder. So the inputs are an A0, B0, C in, A1, B1, A2, B2, and A3, B3. And the outputs are S0, S1, S2, S3. And the C0, C1, C2 are wires. What is wires? The wire is nothing but an wire is an in interconnection between the components. So between full letter A and full letter B, C0 is a wire. Where C3 is the output, where C in is the input. So now we will start write, writing the programming for ripple carry adder. So already we have designed full adder program. So we will call the program into this program. So I will copy it over here. So now let us do for ripple carry adder RCA. The outputs are sum, carry, and inputs are A, B, C. And then the input variable is, so here the inputs are A and B, which is A0, A1, A2, A3. So here, under a single variable, they have declared four inputs. So how we can declare those inputs? Under a single variable, they have declared four variables. So by means of square brackets, open it, 3, colon, 0, where 3 is the MSB and where 0 is the LSB. So I have declared A comma B. That means that for A variable, 3 is to 0. So under a single variable, A of 0, A of 1, A of 2, A of 3, likewise B of 0, B of 1, B of 2 and B of 3. And then the another input is C in. C in is single variable. So C in. Where the output is. Where the output is, we have four variables. So 3 colon 0 sum S. So S will be having S of 0, S of 1, S of 2, S of 3 where S of 0 is LSB, where S of 3 is the MSB. And the another output is carry. And then we have wires. The wires are and C0, C1 and C2. You can declare this also as a vector. So here I have declared 3 is to 0, right? And this is called vector. Uh, array vector data type. So here the wire also can be declared as a vector. So now we will instantiate full adder program here. So FA instantiation name open the bracket. So here first is S. So for first full adder the output is S of 0. S of 0 and then next bit is C. So for C here is C0. So C0 and the input A, B, C. So A, A of 0, B of 0 and C. A of 0, B of 0 and C. In. Once again second full array we have instantiate g2 instantiation name now here s of 1 is the second output c1 is the carry 
a of 1 b of 1 and here the c in is the previous output c naught so c naught for ladder instruction name j3 x of 2 c2 a of 2 b of 2 here it will come c1 for third full order the input is c1 a2 b2 c1 right so a of 2 b of 2 c1 g4 s of 3 and the output is for last one the output is c okay we have declared as a c so carry c a of 3 b of 3 c 2 and n module so now this is how we would write a program for prokaryota. So I will copy it. I will paste it here. So as I told earlier, it's a case sensitive. So module input input output output So here you please select a carry adder and then you can click synthesize. So now here you can see the errors. What is the errors we have given? Line 24 and expecting output. Here I have missed semicolon. So now let us see. Yeah, so now it has been succeeded. So you can see here under ripple carry adder we have full adder. Full adder has under under full adder we can see a half adder. So now right click new source, very long test fixture, and then ripple carry adder test bench next so we are we are doing for ripple carry adder so i have set rca next finish so here the inputs are 4 bit right so here we can give 4 bit value 4 bit binary 0001 4 bit binary 100 one and then we can give, give another input also for another case so if you see here it does the 0011 let me execute simulate behavior model Go to zoom full and then I please click it. Maximize here. We can see the input is 0, 0, 0, 0001 and 1001. 0, 0, 1. So 1 1 sum is 0, carry is probably to next level. So 1 1 0 1 0 is output for another side 0 0 1 1 1 0 0 1. So 1 1 sum is 0, carry is 1. So 1 1 sum is 0 carries propagate to next stage so 1 and 1 so this is how ripple carry order operates by using full order and full order has been operated by using half order thank you